loose hits, but he wasn't able to convert them on anything big, and that damage differential versus BSG Vasaraga gets a hit, and once he's in any sort of advantageous situation, lets it snowball from there. And BSG, like, as a player, is the type of player that wants to be able to, like, force his offense on you. Yeah. And so Omega, being as defensive as he is, isn't going to be able to challenge uh, a lot of times that he needed to. Yeah. And, like, you notice, like, at the, especially in uh, Game 3, Round 1, I want to say, um, Omega was doing a really, really good job of playing preemptively, of sticking out hitboxes ahead of time. And BSG was getting Can caught by a lot of those loose right. little hits. It was working very favorably. And then Wes started playing really defensively. He wanted to wait, wait, and gave BSG time to set up armor to get shoulder tackles off or to just get the school tool down off of, like, the fireballs. And BSG was able to get in off of that. You know? Yeah, exactly. You definitely have to play aggressive against Boss because as soon as he gets armor, it doesn't matter the matchup. It's now going to be significantly easier. Yeah. Uh, and the neutral and just the reward he's going to be able to get. Exactly. And, hey, we're going into loser side final, so it's not the end for West. We've got Omega versus Lunar. Should be an interesting matchup. Both pretty set play characters here. Right. I didn't catch uh, this match in winner's side, but I know Omega took it 2-1, uh, I believe. Okay. So it'd be very interesting to see kind of like what he's learned with the matchup, how Winner's going to be able to adapt and lose his side now. Yeah. But this matchup, it's a... Uh, Kind of notoriously better for Fairy. Yeah. And that, like, Hakulis just shouldn't be able to put down many traps in neutral. Um, just right here, yep. Can't put down anything there. <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing Trust stuff like that from full screen. And you're oh, nice yeah, overhead. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I think Omega should be doing. Yeah. Just, like, converting. It's not going for super high damage, but being able to set up into GG where yeah. you're going to get more reward. Yeah. I think it's trash. Absolutely. I think you're 100% right. You are noticing, like, you know, when Cagliostro or, like, when one of the... Nice. Trade it off. But one of the things you're noticing is once they'll spread out from a little bit of space from each other, Fairy really has a big amount of advantage. Exactly what you're saying. Agliostro struggles to set up traps, struggles to really do anything at a range, and Fairy is going to have a lot easier time reaching out and touching Agliostro right. than she will ever have a chance of, of getting Fairy from those long ranges. Lunar's really looking to try and get in and establish pressure just yeah. like this. Wow. Nice. That's all. Kind of, Lunar's big play style, from what I've noticed, is going through uh, for your probate. Yeah. And then kind of blowing you up off of that. And Cagliostro has, well, <laughs> just has so many throwbades. Exactly. She has so many different ways to punish you for trying to throw and challenge. Wow, nice little job. Falls behind. Gives a throw. We're going to reestablish trap pressure. Good challenge from Omega here. Really, really good match. Going to go ahead and burn the ultimate skill for the damage. Favorable position here. Starting to bring it back a little. Well, it's not going to do too much damage, but you're now in a position where winners are going to take 20% more damage. Yeah. Like, automatically. So here we go. I like the setup for the GG, but, you know, we are just going to back off. And those traps seem... Oh, wow. I put the spear. Yeah. JP spear. Right there. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> good pressure. Back into the corner. Oh, side with the spear again. Yeah, good adaptation from Lunar. Uh, Lunar's also RPSing a lot with uh, his jumpings now. Yeah. And one thing you're noticing there is, like, Lunar's pretty patient at that range. He knows Omega's looking for either, like, a, a dive kick out of the corner or the little swing out and just called out on it. Nice little combo for Omega to start the matchup here. Gonna set up the GG oh, roll yeah. behind the edge. I like the spot that just in for Lunar, which is not enough. Yep. And this is where it gets to be an annoying range. Pagliosa gonna have to find a way in the 2H train. Now you have to be really careful here. Yep. Omega knowing that <laughs> you are sitting under a trap, you need to be able to... Oh! Yeah, none of these are gonna convert into a combo, but just being able to set it. Yep. That's how you beat the EX teleport for the sh uh, throw bait. Yeah, a like, lot of if you, stuff like that. Actually. If you stay crouching, then it's Battle going to whiff, and you'll be able to anti your Kagliostro, versus if you stand back, and is going to be fun. Yeah. So, yeah, Omega has definitely been lapping this matchup a bit. Um, it's very tricky. Kag is one of those characters that you just have to be able to lap against. Yeah, you need a lot. You need, one, you need some play experience, but two, you need to go in the lab. You need to figure out her options, because she has so many different ways of baiting throws, of challenging you, of getting in, stuff like that. Nice pickup. I uh, Lunar running up, setting up the TK, and just getting behind. Try still to establish pressure with the spears, but nothing gonna come out. And Omega now much more comfortable at this rate. Feeling a lot better here. Spot dodge attempt, probably trying to challenge the spear. Oh, oh no punish though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Did it get 50 meters down off of the uh, Lunar, but yeah, definitely. As a character like Barry, you need to be 
able to get like all the hits you can. Exactly. Because you're, like a lower damage on average. One thing I'm really liking from West is we're watching West was getting caught by the spears a lot, and it's now a lot more cognizant of okay, I'm leaving a gap here on my string. I'm gonna look for the spot dodge against the spear, right. and it's been working pretty favorably so far. Lunar really hasn't able to get much out, and I like the little walk ups to control space to push yourself away from the corner and push Lunar into the corner because oh, Lunar has in. to make a commitment to keep things going, just like that jump in. You were yep. saying. Yeah, there was a good jump in, but again, Omega is definitely more comfortable with just I. If I see Calculus running at me, I'm just gonna keep holding down back and yeah. try to bait the uh, EX teleport. Yeah, it, it works. <laughs> it's yep. very, very solid. Oh, nice! The 66A going ahead early challenge, and we're just gonna get our way in. Oh, I the bait. and because it's a crouching, it's a crouching hit confirm here. I'm gonna set GG. No DP. Yep, gonna have to hold it. Yeah, yeah really good conversion from Omega here. And pushes back into a win condition, and now Kag has to make a commitment to get out. It worked, but doubled up on the teleport, and exactly what he's doing. Crouch the first hit, and he had it. And it works. Oh, what a 5 8 from Lunar. Yeah, Kag is 5 8 very good uh, situational and here as well, as we see there. Nice reversal. Now, Lunar is just kind of. Uh, next hit's gonna kill. Yeah. It's Lunar's gonna have to make a commitment to get in. I like the ultimate skill trap to at least control that screen space in the middle there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not gonna work though. Wet Omega, really, really good call there. You know, Lunar has to make a commitment to get in. Yep. You know that, you know as fairy, okay, at this range I have all the cards. I'm just gonna wait for Omega to try and teleport and jump in and do something crazy. There we go, yeah. Lunar baiting that EXDP there. That's gonna be making it a little bit easier to get in here. Yeah. Nice here as well. Getting some pressure, but not really able to give it. Extend it. Right now we're just trading back and forth, and this is what we're talking about, the fairy matchup. It's the 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 the, the action is on Lunar. He's gonna have to make a commitment or right. do something to try and find a way in because at this range Omega's just gonna win, trade out, get a very favorable situation. Nice spot dodge on the spear. You see what I was saying? Omega's waiting for it. When something of his doesn't connect, spot dodge waiting for the spear. And now that Lunar has oh this is gonna be the damage here. Yeah. Go yeah, spend it pretty early. Um just it's to get a setup, you know, you're able to get 50 bar off the winner. You're now under this, yeah, web. There you go. Yeah. Like the reset, just the run up, go for the throw. Conditioned Omega earlier not to try and tech that because it took a lot of damage, and now we're just swing for throws. Yeah, good brave counter there. You definitely never want to die with all three of your bravery points. Yeah. And then Winner putting that uh, web there to kind of bait the ant here. Like if you have. Oh, no. Oh! Got the 5 H. We got it going on. Trap on top. Brave counters being exchanged. Neither of them want to die oh, here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Lunar going to close it out with the grab. Yeah, and uh, what you were saying about uh, Lunar setting the trap where it was, perfect, perfect spacing. It, it, it blocks Omega from being able to really press any of those forward advancing moves. Um, see how hurt blocks or even just walk forward and try and challenge because right. it locks him down. So Omega had to play super patient there, found a way in. Nice little jump in and the snatch in grab. Back up into the full screen. Oh, it's able to punish the whip uh, medium DT there. Yeah. Winner working his way in. Good DTs by Omega. Omega just finding just getting caught with the whip. Hits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, fine. So throw bait isn't able to convert this time, bro. That's huge. That's one of, I mean, that's, that's a very good middle option for Lunar, but it works very well when he can find it. It gets one here, 6 6 a going to reset. Nice big combo in the corner. This is going to catch out for a good amount of damage. Best situation Lunar's been in all set. That was what I was saying. Like, I think this is the first time he's been able to do his full setup. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, you can get out of that. Nice EXDP to force the ground. Omega living on a prayer. Any chip damage will work, so you know Lunar's gonna wanna set up a trap or a spear, but those are committal. Yep, Lunar still doesn't have meter. Omega, 61% here. One hit could do it. Spear on cooldown, just coming up for Lunar, so Lunar has a chance to use it, but needs to find the right time. Force Omega to- Oh, that'll do it! Yeah. Big commitment for Lunar trying Omega to go might in. Be him. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't real. think I could have reacted with that. No, nah, that's <laughs> real. No, Lunar, like, tried to go for something big and committal, to, uh, hoping Omega would walk up and maybe try to pressure. Did not work. Right. Omega's him. He, Omega he's that guy. Omega put out the force field. Real. Like, I'm fine. Is trading. <laughs> oh, nice. no. Man, maybe that DP is good. <laughs> Set up the trap to get the blocks from, throw right afterwards. We're doing it again. Try to go for a throw bait there. Omega not fighting. Just going to challenge with a 5A and push out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just racking up these hits. Uh, winner, or this is uh, set point, right? Match yeah. point. Uh, Match, er, it is set point if, uh, if, if Omega oh, takes a point. Oh, the throw. Yeah. 
When are we gonna get one on the board here? Yeah, really big uses convert. to let it be a 3 0. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want it. He wants to try and push it a little out. He wants a chance to play that boss Araga. He wants that for the LTC injury. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> right. We are in the middle of the low tier league. Oh, it gets a throw bait again because it's a crouch check confirm. Yeah. yeah, gonna get all this corner carry here. Except GG. <laughs> Unfortunately, GG goes away, so he's able to challenge oh, out. Cross it up. A little bit of check for using the block button, you know? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> EXDP Omega challenging with the get out of the corner. Really good call. Stuffed out, yeah. And now winners, uh, getting a lot more confident with just going for, for Burrow. Here we go. Sets up the GG forcing out. Yeah. Oh, it's like you're able to get that full conversion, but. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's more reversal. And I'll hit, right? Sure, yeah. really. Okay. <laughs> and that burned out the brave, uh, the rest of the brave points too. So yeah, I was gonna no, kill. no, you were, you were gone. That kills from like forty percent. <laughs> Something ridiculous. You are dead, dead. This is a fun. It's a funny game. This is just like the enough two point oh. Good press. They're both them kind of standing away from each other. You know, Lunar getting a bit oh, of that. Oh, wow, good spear placement. Waiting for Omega to start pressing a button. Going to call out the spear. Nice little snatch and grab, goes for the throw, but Lunar takes it, jump in, no reaction. Well, it's so hard, because you have to decide in that moment, do you want to try to anti your attack, or is you going to go for a throw bait? Exactly. Oh, there we go. Good, good punish here. Yeah, but opting for the damage rather than going for GG setup. Hey, question. Oh, it's able to oh, avoid the spear that time. Yeah. yeah. Goes for the dive kick, you get oh, the GG for the it. overhead. That will kill. Press into the corner off of the break points and just extend it, extend it, extend it. Oh, no. And Omega gonna take it. Uh, three, one. Yeah, that, I, I, I froze for a second on that. Uh, <laughs> I actually froze when he uh, did the, when he just